Welcome to the NatFL channel, where we keep you informed about the NFL every day. Former Alabama quarterback Tua Tungavailoa has had a rocky start to the beginning of his professional career with the Miami Dolphins. After being second string on the depth chart to start the 2020 season, Tungavailoa was the starter for nine games. He completed 64.1% of passes for 1,814 yards, 11 touchdowns and 5 interceptions. Miami failed to earn a playoff berth and Tungavailoa went 6-3 as a starter. Tua just so happened to release some timely photos this morning of him grinding like a madman. If you have any recollection of last season and what Tua looked like, here does a great job of showing the difference between Tua then and now. From his swole biceps to his enormous calves, Tua looks like a completely different person. You can't tell me that Tua isn't thinking about being a guy who travels to high schools and rips phone books in half and bends crowbars with his teeth. He's totally thinking about doing that. Just incredible dedication that Tua is putting in from year one to year two. Not saying others aren't doing the same, but seeing Tua taking his job seriously during the offseason is nice to see. The picture of him getting pulled by his good buddy is an interesting one. Will he be dragging defenders as they hold on for dear life by a rubber strap, doubtful. But, it's a good idea for Tua to prepare his body for the unexpected. It's important to remember that at this time last year, Tua was just trying to be able to walk and run. That pesky hip injury that I'm sure you all heard about was a big deal injury and the offseason wasn't one where he could get his body into tip-top shape. He had to get his body to regular guy shape. That, to me, will be the most important thing that will take Tua's performance to the next level. He'll get better at reading defenses, preparation, and film study as well. But the whole part of him not trusting his eyes, thus not trusting his arm, will be a thing of the past because he'll know his body and arm are where they need to be. And last year, I think it was apparent that he wasn't physically 100%. I'd ballpark Tua operating at no better than 85%. I understand that brings up a major can of worms like, why did coach Stone Cold Brian Flores put him in then? To that, I say you go and ask him. I don't have a great answer for that. What I do have an answer for is whether or not Tua will be ready to make the leap from year one to year two that folks such as his teammate Kyle Van Noy say is the biggest jump a football player makes. All the talk that's been spewed out about how Tua performed is fuel for him and he's out here grinding when he could be sipping mojitas, which at this point in the day he might be doing. The point is Tua is getting himself ready to play and that's something all of us Dolphins fans should be excited for.